Well, it is the busy holiday season, so we always like to bring in our friends and our show sponsors from Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys, Mark Anajar and Shire Patel. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Hey, great, great pleasure. Here. Yeah, always busy. Of course, we're yeah. heading into the holidays. I'm sure you guys see. It has been nuts. We're are you, where are you going for Thanksgiving? Where anything? will I be going? I'll be up in New York. Me there too. You go. Yeah. So, so will I. Every Thanksgiving. That's we're all going to New York. Everyone <laughs> leaves Florida. <laughs> One of my favorite. You got to see the snow. You got to see the fall yes. change. You know, to me, that's the holiday. It's a nice right. little long weekend with the snow, and then you can leave it behind. We come all back right. to the beach. But but a lot of travel is taking place, whether you're driving or flying or so you're driving to the airport, we have to be careful on the roads. Yeah. Right. So obviously this time of year, it gets super, super swamped. Everyone's traveling. All three of us are going to New York. Yeah. So we're all running to the airport. Usually you're late for your flight. You're throwing your luggage in the car mm -hmm. and you're, you're flying. So just being more cognizant that the roads get very congested. Not everyone's traveling out of state. Some of them are just going to, you know, the Pinellas County for the, you know, the beach or, yeah. or going on to the islands or whatever it may be. So the roads get super, super congested. So just got to be more vigilant and be aware that people are distracted, either rushing someplace or rushing from a place. We want to be careful on the roads at that time of year. And I think everybody likes to say, you know, that they're a good driver and they try to do the best that they can. But when you're stressed and you're trying to get somewhere and all of that, that's when those accidents. Yeah, happen. we're human, right? And yeah. You put a lot of people on the roadways, high congestion. Yeah, just pay attention, you know, now more than ever. So. so I got a new car and it's stick shift and it's probably the best thing. <laughs> wow, that, look at you. It's a, it's a manual and it's the best thing that happened because it forces me to put my phone into the center glove box. You can't text and drive and, and, I can't text <laughs> and, and drive, drive at the same time. So the one time that I was guilty as sin and I got into an accident, I was checking my email and looked up and I didn't have time and I crushed someone and rear-ended them, mm -hmm. right? And I took responsibility. I'm like, hey, you know what? I wasn't paying attention and it was really that bad. Yeah. And from there, I always try to make a concerted effort to putting the phone away. So that's just something in the holiday season. If we all want to make one commitment, that would be to put away the phone, yeah. you know, just the extra 10 minutes it's going to take to check it when you arrive to your destination will probably prevent someone from having a bad holiday season. Yeah, and it's not even, you know, there are so many ways that you can shut your phone off in the car. You don't have to go buy a stick shift, but right. you can, you know, there's different apps or you can silence your phone. Or driving easier. on, driving right. mode on. And, right. You know, so Think about those things. Those types of things are there for a reason and they probably will mm -hmm. help keep you focused and keep you aware, especially when the roads are getting a little crazier during the holiday time. Absolutely. Let's talk about the fact that, you know, maybe we get into a situation we do need to call you guys mm -hmm. if we are in an accident. What do we do? What are some of the first steps that we should be taking? Yeah, so assess the damage, okay, of the vehicles. Take photographs of all the damages to all parties involved. Call the police, right? Um, oftentimes the driver of the vehicle that, you know, may have been involved in the accident isn't the owner. These are all different avenues of insurance that we're going to be opening claims with to see exactly uh, what we can get, right, and what we're going after. Um, take care of your, your body, right, if you're hurt, you know, call medical attention, call, call fire rescue. Um, if you see any witnesses or anything like that, get that information. Mm -hmm. so. And one of the things I would say, especially in bad accidents where there's airbag deployment, I would always go to the hospital. Okay. And I'll tell you why. There's always a chance for, God forbid, an internal bleed. Mm. So you think there and you think you're completely okay. Right. But you have an internal bleed and you're bleeding internally and you don't realize that's happening. And that could be from a seatbelt mm -hmm. tugging too rough on your internals or an airbag hitting you the wrong way. More often than not, that would be what I see. They, when you go to the hospital, the first thing they're going to do is do a CT scan mm -hmm. to make sure that there's nothing going on. So I would just say, especially if it's a catastrophic accident, a bad accident, airbag deploy, and for some reason, the grace of God, you walk out 10 fingers, 10 toes, and you think you're okay, yeah. I still would recommend you go to the hospital, get mm -hmm. checked out, especially in those types of situations. Great. And these are great tips, great advice. That's why we have them on here, just in case you ever need them. So if you do need to visit them or get some more information, you can, of course, visit their website at any time. Their number is right there on your screen as well, one 800 747 free. Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. And happy Thanksgiving. Same to you. <laughs>